Hey all, this is Bob, aka Mystery Safe, and today I'm going to be sharing a pet peeve. I'll often get people that reach out to me and want me to help them with their aquarium. They'll have something wrong and they can't figure out what's going on. And my first question is almost always, what are your parameters? I need to know what your alkalinity, your calcium, your uh, phosphates, your nitrates, your ammonia. I need to know what these things are. Your salinity level, uh, just the basics. I need to know what they are so I have some kind of reference point, especially when I'm not there at the tank and I'm doing this over um, you know, messenger or over text. Uh, it, it helps me to kind of figure out where to go. Now, sometimes it's not the parameters. It could be lights or something else, but I need to know what the parameters are. Recently, I had someone reach out to me on Facebook and they wanted to know what was wrong with their tank. And when I asked, I said, I need to know what your levels are, what, what they are so I have an idea, especially the nitrates and phosphates. And of course, you can see right here, he says, I don't remember the correct numbers. I did it like four days ago, but I know the levels were good. Uh, unfortunately, that's not something I can help with. And I told him that. I said, uh, without the numbers, I can't really help you. About an hour later, I was on Facebook, and sure enough, he had posted this to uh, one of the groups that I'm in, and he was asking everybody what the problem with his tank was. And he, he said, my levels are good, and, uh, and again, didn't have any specific numbers. Unfortunately, some people tried to help them without those knowing what those numbers were. Listen, the lights could definitely be an issue, but if you don't know what the parameters are, it's not time to start talking about lights. A few people did start saying that they need to know what the parameters are. Uh, there was some that even said to bring, you know, some store owners that said, bring a sample of your water in and we'll test it for you. One person seemed to understand or at least know this person and he gave advice to feed more. But again, without knowing what those parameters are, that is not good advice. I, I, I don't like when people give advice on how to take care of something when they don't know all the statistics involved. You need to know what those numbers are. So although this is kind of a pet peeve because people do this all the time, it is also a learning experience. Take this opportunity, if you are new in the hobby, make sure you're testing your parameters and when you need to ask for help, give what those parameters are. Again, at the very basics, nitrate, phosphate, ammonia if it's a new tank, uh, calcium and alkalinity if you are doing corals. Make sure you're giving at least that. And better yet, find a local fish store that you can trust and bring a sample of water in, even if you're testing the water yourself, because they might be able to find something that you don't know, or maybe you're not running the test quite right. So make sure that you find a place that is good uh, and support your local fish stores. And of course, you could see in those comments before, you know, people giving advice when they didn't really know what the issue was. Always take what you find online with a grain of salt because you might be getting good advice and you might be getting advice from someone that is so new in the hobby that they themselves truly don't know the answer. This is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe with Pet Peeve. Catch you next time.